What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Moon walkthrough. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, we've gotten through another episode of a tutorial, and now, I guess we're going to have to go to Holy ha City, because I guess we might have more tutorials right here. Uh, in our last episode, we managed to capture our next team member. That is, yes, yes, our good old buddy, Dump Truck, the Grimer, the Alolan Grimer. Look at this place! Holy crud, it is a uh, it is a beautiful place, and look at the moon, it's looking fantastic right here, look at this. Alrighty, good vibes, good vibes. Oh, and she's out for a swim right now. Yeah, good vibes. I'm really, really feeling it right now, and, well, our buddy Hal right here, he's like, beach time, yeah! Okay, so, let's see. Oh, lady, uh, she's, she's like, hey you! You've come to Alola from some some place far off, haven't you? I could tell. Hmm. You can, huh? You could, huh? Then let me teach you the proper way to greet someone in Alola. Alola. Uh, okay. You give it a try too. Just just like that, Alola. You'll make more friends if you say it. Uh, yeah. Okay. So Alola. Okay. Whatever. Anywho, Q here. Oh well, I shouldn't have went there. Should probably go to the other way around right here. Okay, so how 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 Oli City? I can't even pronounce these names right. But here we are in the next adventure right here, and well, we're gonna be looking at some other stuff. You know, the beach. Look at this, getting around the beach, getting on the water for the first time, and look at this. Is this a Pokemon? Yes, it is. It's a Pew. No, it's a good Pokemon right here. You're gonna be finding a lot of stuff, guys. Lots and lots of stuff. Fun stuff. Great stuff. And. Believe it or not, this is another tutorial video, and, uh, well, cannot wait to finish this off. It usually takes about, like, yeah, it takes a long, long time, guys, to actually get to the next, well, to the very first trial right here. I guess it's for, like, you know, leveling up purposes and all that stuff, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, we did say that we were going to come out with Pokemon Sun and Moon, and here it is, so why complain about it, right? Now, the goal is to go find, uh, how... And in our last uh, two episodes ago, we got ourselves the Pokedex, the Rotom Dex, and right there where it has the red flag, that's where you can actually find how. So we got to go to him, and where is he? Oh, there he is. Hey, Draven, I thought I recognized the sound of those feet. The heck? Sound of those feet. That's uh, okay, whatever, homie boy. So what do you think? Holy is something. Hey, well, Alola got, Alola's got to be the best place ever to live. Oh, yeah. Hey, Draven, come in here with me. I've got a good idea uh, of something that you could do. Okay, let's see what, what, what let's see where you're going to be taking us right here. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so, hey, miss, is it true that you can uh, that you can get some kind of special gift if you have a Rotom Dex? Ye oh, my goodness, you got the news very fast. Hardly anyone has a Rotom Dex, but it is true that we have a special item to go with it. It is our very own Pokefinder. Here you go. And, well, awesome. Okay, so we got a Pokefinder, I guess? Isn't that awesome, Draven? You got yourself a Pokefinder. So, like, what's a Pokefinder? The Pokefinder is a tool that lets you take photos of Pokemon. Rotom will help point out places where, or where you'll be able to take pictures, too. Here, I'll read you an instruction manual. Tap the Rotom or press R. Yep. That's all it says. Quite simple, isn't it? Huh? Hmm. Man, that Rotom Dex is cool. It's like a whole nother partner, Draven. Uh, I mean, on top of your Pokemon partner. Oh, but I guess since Rotom is inside, it's pretty much a, it, it pretty much is a Pokemon partner. Either way, you're uh, you're pretty darn lucky. Meet you outside when you're done in here. Okay, all right. The photos you can snap of Pokemon with a Poke Finder, they're simply too cute to resist. Huh, okay, Pokemon Snap, hey, hey. So, let's see, what is this place? Uh, nothing too important. We gotta go outside and uh, meet How just a little bit more. Because, yeah, again, more tutorial videos. And here he is. Draven, How? Did you, uh, did you visit the tour Tourist Bureau? How was it? We got this Rotom Dex upgraded. Now I can take pictures, too. What a wonderful helper you are, Rotom. Hmm, huh. look at this. Oh, wow. Oh wow, we're taking pictures right here with uh, with our friends. Wow, we weren't ready for that, huh? <laughs> what was that for Rotom? 
Go, go and put a little uh, trickster back in your bag, Draven, and follow me. Enough feasting your eyes, it's time to take care of uh, our stomachs. Well, I could go for a burger, you know, this and that, you know. Maybe Ronan just wants to flaunt its new camera function and take more pictures. Have you thought about trying it out? I think I'll go stop at an apparel stop to do some shopping of my own. Okay, alrighty, so let's see. What's next? Yo, trader, look what you got. Whoa, 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 what, what, what's going on right here? Hey, lucky kid, if you got a Poke Finder, then I guess I'll give you a little tip. Okay, what's that? What's that? Okay, so see the spot right there where the a wall is cracked? That fo that's a photo spot right there. Look at that. Your Rotom there is trying to tell you uh, to give it a tap. Uh, well, it looks like we looks like we got to go right here just to take a look at this. So we're going to press the R button right here. And look at that. We found a Pikachu. He's like, you can move the camera around by using a, po uh, a circle pad right there. Okay. It's always a good idea to try looking at the world from all kinds of different angles. Okay, and when it, the time is right, then you'll be framed the perfect spot. Press R and A button. Then it's time to fire a Pokemon Finder. You can take six picks before you run out of space. Okay, so look, this is like Pokemon Snap. That's one right there. Now, how do we close up? I don't know. There we go to... I guess... Let's see, let's see. Hold on just a sec. Uh... What do I press this? Oh, yeah, we can move it around right there. All right, let's press this sec, uh, this second one. There we go, and beautiful. Okay, so I think we've used up all our. No, we didn't. Okay, so there it is. You take it all the pictures. Let's shuffle the photo selection, and well, what kind of picture do you want to show there? The world, Bucko. Let's see. It's the same thing. Ah, let's go with this one right here. Okay, so yes, let's go with that one. And it's been uploaded, and yes, super cute. Try harder, and well, let's see what kind of a record thumbs up are we going to get right here. It's kind of like Pokemon Snap. A little bit of a preview of what we should have gotten. And look at that, we got ourselves a nice, uh, a nice score right here. So now we are able to get version 2. And well, close the Poke Finder. I'm not trying to save anything right here, so... That is that right there, and okay. So the guy is like, "Did you get a good shot?" I hear it's the best. I, I hear it's best to try and photograph Pokemon from the front. You know, if you want to know more about the Pokemon Pokemon Finder, well, just keep taking tons of pictures. Okay, so it's a lot of shops and even apparel shops. Okay, had to go. Okay, so that is that for that guy and well let's go right ahead and find how and uh, see where he or actually not how but our girlfriend right here see what she she's looking for and it looks like it's an apparel store right here and she's like oh Draven tell me do you uh, pick out all your own clothes of course I do of course most people don't or do don't they I've always won't I've always just worn the clothes that my mother wanted me to wear I don't really know what kind of a thing would suit me Oh, but that's not why I stopped you. I meant to give you this, Draven. I received it inside the apparel shop here. I didn't even buy anything, but they said that I was uh, the nine, 99th million, I think, 99,000. I don't even know, a customer in the store, but I already had the same one. So I thought I'd maybe get that maybe you might want it. And what is it that we got? We got ourselves a lens case. We can change out our, you know, our, our, our you know, our contact lenses and all that stuff it looks like we have something in common now don't we Draven okay yeah why does she always sound why does she always look so sad I want to know okay so here we have the apparel store where you can actually get dressed up and everything and well there's really nothing that nothing else that you can find right here except a truck and uh, well let's see here's where you can actually get your haircut I may pay a visit to that place later on but what we're trying to do right now is we're gonna go. We're gonna finish out the missions first before we start doing our own thing right here. Now here's another Pokemon Center, which we'll get to eventually. And just like that, we are looking at these guys, and they're like, "I saw those Team Skull numbskulls loitering around the marina again." I reported it to the captain, of course. This is what happens when young people have nothing to do, too much time on their hands. What a bunch of useless thugs. All they do is drag trainers into battles they don't want to try and steal Pokemon. Oh, wow. Okay. I heard that they keep on trying to sneak into the trial site to steal Pokemon to sell, and they 
that they fail every single time. Hmm. Okay, so Team Skull. I wonder what that is. And, well, let's see. We're, we're, we're going to try and find some more stuff right here. Okay, so... Let's see, there are items that we can actually find, so let's go ahead and grab those first. Uh, as you can see, there's one right here, and we found ourselves an ether. Now, there are areas right here where you can actually go inside uh, the gates and actually get some more Pokemon, which we will try and get into eventually. But right now, we're trying to, we're trying to get to the red flag right here. And, well, would you look at that? There's grassy areas right here where you can actually go to and it looks like we found our next destination right here and it is our good old buddy how and he's like how's it draven if you're looking for good eats you found them plus malazada or malasada make your pokemon like you and affectionate pokemon are better in battle who could resist giving their pokemon a few malazada eh? they're just so cute now now that i've got a f uh, now that i got some fuel in me i want to go right down to the marina and scream out loud watch me tutu no, watch me, world. I'm going to beat even my old gramps someday. Hmm. Okay, Malazana. Is, is that some type of pokey food or something like that? I don't even know. I really don't know, but we're continuing on right here, guys. And, well, let's see. I believe there is one more thing that we need to do. And we have to go straight into the marina just to find the captain right here. And there she is. And... She's waiting for us, and she's like, greetings, it's Captain Iluma. Yo, 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 check it. Whenever, wherever we meet you, Team Skull don't even greet you. Oh, wow. Holy crap, what is this? Oh, crud, here we go. The wannabe bone thugs in harmony, and they're doing the... Oh, wow. So, Cap, just give it up. The Give up the Pokemon, yo. Oh, you from the trainer school already made your way to Haoli, hmm? <laughs> she's totally ignoring this kid. Wow, what's going on here? Why are they doing it? What the hell is going on right here? What, what? Why are you trying to act hard when we're already hard as bone out here, homie? Yo, let's check out these fools. Huh. Oh my, how terrifying. Only thieves steal Pokemon, but people's Pokemon, I don't, I won't stand for it. Draven, wasn't it? I'll ask you to take care of that one. I'll get rid of this one. Hmm. Okay, I'm ready. Battle against these to uh, team school and numbskulls in a marina. Count on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and battle this guy. And he's like, yo, check it. Check how I can change the game in my mad Pokemon skills. So here it is. The very first battle against a team skull member. And, well, we are looking at this guy right here. He's got one Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and see what they got. And, of course, they got a Zubat. Come on, man. Gotta be more original than that, so let's go with a good old buddy a Joker in our last episode. It kind of fainted, but it's already back, ready to go. So let's go with a water gun right here. And yes, we use a quick club because we are going first. So here we go, water gun. Nearly takes out Zubat, but here comes a confu or a supersonic attack. So now we're confused. Look at those Twitter signs right there. So let's go right ahead and do another water gun. Hopefully we don't hurt ourselves right here. So come on, Joker. And there it is, water gun attack for the win. Second mod of the Zubat. Okay, alrighty, look at that. Already kicking ass, taking names. Meowth grown to level 8 as well as Ratata. And, well, for real, are we already? Yes. You gotta love their theme song. It's 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 hilarious. It's like a wannabe, uh, wannabe uh, rap song right here. No fair, I was playing a different game. Let's get up uh, to the port, B. Nobody has to know about this. We don't need your whack Pokemon anyway, Ema. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Again, oh my, how terrifying. Hmm. Okay, so... My thanks to you and your Pokemon. Why don't you heal your team to exp Or why don't I heal your team to express my gratitude? And there we go, getting a little bit of a healing item right there. And, well, let's see. I must admit, I've been wondering about you since I saw you at the trainer school. Professor Kukui brought you along, and you and your Pokemon seem to defeat our teacher so effortlessly. Very well, then. Allow me to see if you're ready to, for my trial. Okay. Like, wait, wait, what's a trial right here? I want to know what a trial is. Oh, wow, what's going on here? Behold, the magnificent Pokemon of one, the one and only Captain Yuma. Oh, so we're battling. Okay. 
So here it is, our very first battle against Captain Ema. Look at this. It's a nice graphic right there. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what this is all about. She or he or I don't even know. Is it a he or a she? Come on, guys. Help me out here. Taking on Young Goose right here. And, well, does have normal type Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and go with the Water Gun attack right here. Now, there will be a specific areas where we'll be getting more and better Pokemon right here. And... As you can see, Young Goose took that attack pretty well, and, well, it's giving us a nice heart attack right there with a critical hit. So, let's go with a disarming voice. Let's get it. Ah, oh, yes. Sounds like a dead cat or something. And here comes a Leer attack. That Young Goose is creeping me out because it has those sharp teeth. So, let's go straight for a water gun right here. Finish it. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. And, well, here comes a Tackle Attack, and this will take a little bit more HP than usual. So let's go right ahead and finish this guy off with a Water Gun Attack. Of course, we're using a oh, crutch. He's using a Potion or a He or... I don't even know! Help me out, guys. Pink hair. He or she. So here we go. Water Gun Attack again. That takes more than anything. So let's go ahead one more time. Water Gun Attack. Let's go, Joker. And nearly defeats this guy, but here comes another tackle attack. And that lowers our HP down pretty well. So let's go ahead and use a water gun attack to finish this off. And there we go. Say goodbye to Young Goose. Alrighty, okay. And, well, everybody gets some leveling up. And here she's coming out with a Smeargle. So let's go with Dumb Truck right here, mainly to heal up my Pokemon and to be Strategic Magic against this guy right now. So... Here comes a dump truck, and here comes a Schmeargle. All right, Schmeargle, you don't like me, and I don't like you, but guess what? Let's go with a fart attack right here, the poison gas, and tackle attack hits us a little bit harder than usual. So here we go, poison gas. Oh, yes. Okay, so now you're getting hurt by poison. And, well, let's go ahead and heighten our defenses. We're going to be strategic magic with dump truck right here. And who's going first? Oh, wow. She's going for a full heal. Good gravy. Okay. All right. I see how this is going. I know what's going on right here. And she is uh, not letting me uh, have a... Uh, you know, she's not letting me have anything right now. So here comes another tackle attack. That right there was pretty harsh. And there is another poison gas attack. Hits Smeargle pretty well. And, well, that's another poison... Effects, so let's go with a pound attack right here. And here comes a tackle attack. Good gravy. That freaking Smeargle must have been stronger than anything. So getting affected by its poison. Okay, so let's go back to Joker. I I probably have to, like, you know, I probably have to give it a, a potion just in case. Because I don't want to risk it. Let's see, right here, potion for Joker. And there we go. Look at that. Okay, so here comes a leafage attack. Good gravy. So this guy knew what he was doing. And, well, there's a, there's another, uh, yeah, there's another poison right there. So we got one chance at this. Let's go for a water gun attack. And, jeez. Okay, so we're getting our butts kicked right now. Here we go. Water gun attack. Beats the Smeargle. Say goodbye. Good gravy. Okay. I don't know if we're worthy yet, but that was a tough battle right there. And, well, our Slowpoke grows to level 9, which he wants to learn Water Gun. I already have a Pokemon with Water Gun, but let's go ahead and give it to uh, our good old buddy Slowpoke right here. Now, we do have a slow team. We kind of kind of need to fix that up right there. Yes! You have Emerge uh, uh, Victorious right there. Okay, so what's going on right here? You, or should I say you and your Pokemon, make quite an interesting team. I do hope you'll come to Verdant Cavern and attempt the trial of the Trial of Ima. You can do, or you can get there from Route 2. That Rotom Dex of yours will show you the way. I bid you Alola. Or I do, or whatever. I don't know. Okay, so Route 2 it is, and well... That right there was a uh, it was pretty interesting to say the least. Now there are quite a few things that I kind of want to do right here. There are items right here that I want to get, 
and maybe, maybe, just maybe, find a Pokemon here and there. Uh, but first, let's go right ahead and let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon because yeah, we took quite a few damage. Yeah, and there, like, there's a Pokeball right there. Holy crud. Okay, so we need to grab these items before we finish out this episode right here. And somebody will be waiting for us right there. So before we do anything, let's go ahead and do that. And go straight to the Pokemon Center. Now, again, guys, my team will be diverse. It will definitely make an impression on you guys, especially since we are in the Alola region. Um... My goal is to try and make it a little more, you know, native than than usual. I've looked at the last few walkthroughs and I've seen that, like, well, a lot of my teams are not so diverse. Not so native and all that stuff, I should say. And maybe in this walkthrough, it could actually happen. I can actually see, you know, I could actually have a team that's, uh, you know, that has native Pokemon to this. Now, so far we have one native Pokemon and three you know three region variants right here so before we do anything or before we go before we sign off right here let's go right ahead and pick up some items yeah got to pick up some items hopefully maybe capture a pokemon here and there there might be a pokemon that i want to capture and well let's see we're going through this area right here and here we found ourselves a revive that could have been useful right there Jeez. and let's see we're going to get attacked. Yes. Get attacked by a Pokemon. What could it be? And it is a, a Alolan Grimer right here. Yeah, I don't want to mess with it right now. <sighs> so we're going to add some speed. Maybe some flying capabilities. You know, that kind of stuff. We, we, we will find out. We'll find out soon. Let's see. There is an item right there behind the Masada shop. Maybe I should hit that up. City Hall is another place you can actually go to. And look at that, we have found an Abra, and as many of you guys already know, Abra is a tough Pokemon to try and capture, mainly because of its, uh, you know, teleport. But here we have a great ball, so hopefully we can capture it with this right here. Let's go, come on, stay in the ball, stay in the goddamn ball, come on, be cool, man, come on, be cool. There you go, so, <laughs> what's up? I think we already I think we already know a name for this Pokemon right here. So we've caught ourselves an Abra. And well, let's add it to the Pokedex right here. Bam. Another Melee Melee Pokemon right here. Registered. Ready to go. And Well, we got five percent of these Pokemon right here. So it's uh Abra the Psych Pokemon. It can teleport itself to safety while it's asleep, but it wakes up, it doesn't know where it is, so it panics. Okay, so We've already had Abras before. I think we already know what nickname is gonna get. We're gonna give it. So say hello, or welcome back, Ultra Psycho. Hold on, just a sec. Say there we go. There we go. There we go. Not that. There we go. Ultra Psycho. There we go. What's up? What's up? Now, am I going to have this guy on the team? Maybe. Maybe not. I will try and trade this Pokemon here and there just to evolve it and whatnot. Could prove useful for a later adventure right here. And, well, let's see. We're just going to get the heck out of here. And, well, let's see. There might be something else right here, man. Okay, so we've already been right here. There's something. There's definitely something right here. So let's go right ahead and check this place out. And this area will actually have an item close by right here. So let's go ahead and see what Pokemon we're going to be attacked by. And it's another Alolan Grimer. Don't want none of that right now. Okay, so kind of feels like a kind of feels like a. Hold on, just a sec. Okay, alrighty. Sorry about that interruption right there. But yes, do have roommates who are sometimes rude right here. Now there is an item right here that you can actually find. I'm trying to find it right here. Let's see. Not right there, but maybe right here. Look at that. We found ourselves a Stardust. And, well, let's go right here. And maybe, 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 just maybe we'll find something else right here. Let's see. Oh, there is an item. So let's go straight into this gate. You gotta love these gates. Open up the gates and everything. And there we go. We found ourselves a tiny mushroom. And let's see, that is another item that we've picked up, so let's see, 
There is one more item that we can get, and we completely forgot it was over at the uh, at the pier that we were at. So let's go ahead and uh, pick that up now. Again, there is a Pokemon here that I kind of want to capture. I actually actually want to get that too. So let's go ahead and grab that. Let's see where is an opening, right here. So maybe we'll maybe we we'll, we will find that Pokemon. So let's see, right here, and here we are being attacked by another Pokemon. And nope, that is a Wingle, so yeah, that's not going to happen right now. So let's go right ahead and just get the heck out of here. So let's see, run away. And yeah, of course, we're, we're slower than Wingle right now, so yeah, it's going to take a while. <laughs> okay, so let's grab this item right here, and we found ourselves... The TM49 Echo Voice, something that, you know, uh, Poplio already has. And, let's see, there is one more item that we need to grab right here before we do anything else. Let's see, Echo Voice uh, obviously is a fairy-type move. Scary as hell. Kind of sounds like a dead cat or something like that. So, going down to the pier right here, and or the marina, and you'll, you'll be able to find another item right here that, you know, could be useful, I guess. I don't know. There it is. You just need to... Uh, know your way around right here. It's been a while since I've actually played this game, uh, well, actually played this game and all that stuff, guys. So let's go right ahead and grab this little thing, and we found ourselves a potion. Nice. Very, very nice. So, I think that's pretty much all the items that we can get. Uh, I know that there's quite a few on the beach, and, well, let's see. What happens if we go right here? Let's go right here. Well, pretty much a shortcut, so... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get attacked by Pokemon, and look at that—we found ourselves another Abra, which you know we've already have on our team and all that crud. So let's just get the heck out of here and never face this Pokemon ever again. It's a level seven though; it could be strong, could be useful and all that stuff. So let's see, getting into the shortcut right here, and well. I think that's pretty much it right there, guys. Now, I could go and uh, fix up my poke, my uh, my player right here, but we'll wait for we'll wait for next time so I can get everything situated. So, we're going to pause it right here. In the next episode, we're going to be going straight to Route 2 and doing a little bit more training, a little bit more capturing of all Pokemon. And, yeah, we'll see what, uh, what else happens. Maybe even go into the trial right there. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.